Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Crafted World. In the last episode, we finished off Big Paper Peak and 100%ed it. In this episode, we're going to be seeing what lies ahead in this big crafted world. So here we have a big old block of feller who wants a lot of sunflower or a lot of flowers. This is a boss stage. I will say it now. So, instead of doing our normal uh, flip side courses, craft stuff, and then stages, we're going to be doing a different uh, different format, since it'd make more sense to me if I did it with the new stuff, new levels first, extra stuff later. It makes more sense to me. So, let's do this boss, shall we? Our first boss. It's got question marks. Oh, that's, that's so cool. We got question marks all over. We don't know what this is. And this is the same, this is part of the same world here. This is not like a separate world. This is still part of Big Paper Peak. So I thought that's pretty cool. Let's do it. There's our first gem. Oh no, the mouser stole it. Get back here. You meanie. That's not good. What's Bowser Jr. doing? <laughs> All right, give us back the gem. Of course, Bowser Jr. or Baby Bowser is throwing a tantrum. Alright. What is Kamek gonna be doing? <laughs> it's a silly looking bird. The tin can condor. Alright, let's do this fight. What you're supposed to do here is we take the magnet and we stick it on him and ground pound his head. It's as simple as that. These levels are not... These boss fights are fun, but they're super easy. Now he's gonna ground pound on me. Great to know. I think the Mousers took the magnet here. So that's not good. What are you doing now, Birdie? I will say, these are really fun. Like, some of these bosses can get tough. But we'll get through it. Now he's going to try... Give me that magnet. There we go. Hurting us with these Dorito-looking things. <laughs> that's what they look like. They're supposed to be spikes. There's another hit. <laughs> I love this fight though, it's a great first boss, in my opinion. It's not too hard, not too easy. Although its patterns are a little too predictable in my opinion. Just grounds pounds like four times here. And of course, three times the charm. So, we just gotta wait for the mousers. Two. Oh, there's a bouncing one! Oh no! I'm not worried about health at all. 
Like, the only thing we do have to worry about, honestly, is just HP. And that's, that's still, even still, that's like nothing. You just have to beat the boss. Magnet. And kaboom! It's dead. Eat it, Yoshi. Ha, <laughs> he dropped it. And that is our first gem. Whoa! Or, uh, excuse me, a dream gem. There's one out of five. <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. And that's it. We are on to bigger, better things. Now, there are challenges... Wait, what? Okay, maybe not. I thought there were boss challenges we could do, but I'm pretty sure those unlock after we beat the game. Alright, that's interesting. Alright. So now that we did the boss fight, we have a lot more time to go look for these crafts. So, let's go back and do the flip side. We didn't do the flip side of this stage, so let's go do it. We could take Gogo. It looks like we get to take. Uh, it looks like we get to take Gogo Yoshi in the sunset, which that's pretty awesome. Oh, it is a sunset. That's beautiful. So just like before, same verse, just as the first. It's just going backwards in this level. It shouldn't be too hard. All we have to do. I think the first puppy. Is no get back here, get back here with my dog. No, there we go. There's one. Points do not matter. Actually, they do not. All that matters is time. So you gotta be quick. Let's hope I don't fail this miserably. I hope there's not a poochie pup. Oh, there's another one. And... Those don't matter anymore, it seems. Hey, ah, oh, the car. This is, I love this level, though. It's honestly... Whoopsies. Hopefully I didn't miss a poochie pup. Gotta listen out for all the barks. The little barks they make. I hear it, I hear it, it's up there. Get back here! Get over here, yeah, we did it! Nice job! And that's it! <laughs> I don't have much to say about these, this level here, it's the same thing, just backwards. <laughs> But we did it. We got all the. I love how the Poochie Pups are on the Gogo -Go Yoshi's like nose. One of them's on his back or his cheek. That's hilarious. <laughs> now, can I beat this in a timely manner? I think I did. I did it. Let's go. Wahoo! 
Or excuse me, we did it. <laughs> And that is all for this world so far. Next, we gotta go look for the parts. Or, excuse me, the crafts. Our first item is a crown. Now, where have we seen a crown in this level before? Well, let's go look. Okay, so I don't have much to say about these. Uh, I do remember where these are in this level. I did think it was a pain in the butt, <laughs> but hey, we'll get through it just like we always did. So the reason I am so yeah, the, like I said earlier, the structure of things is gonna be a little different. Uh, I'm gonna be doing New World first, and then extra stuff later because it feels like. That feels a little wrong, in my opinion, because, like, for my own sake and your guys' as well, um, I don't want to waste time. So, for my sake and your guys', I will do the world first, new world first, extra stuff after. So, yeah. Bam. 30 coins? Oh, I didn't get much. Dang it. So yeah, I think that'd be a perfect uh, opportunity. This is a perfect opportunity to change up the formula a little because of how things have been going on the Let's Play lately. So I'm glad that I can change it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Uh, and the first episode alone, we got like uh, 96 views, which is great, actually. And the second episode, we got 165 almost. Like, that's insane, you all. Thank you. Honestly. Like, oh, there's the crown we need. Like, that's crazy to me that I reached that goal, that milestone of 100 views. And I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe that. And I really, really, really hope that you guys are, are enjoying this Let's Play. I'd be worried if you didn't. Because <laughs> that'd be concerning. But, I'm just happy you guys are enjoying it, and I'm happy to be doing it for you guys. And I know episodes are coming out really, really sh uh, slowly this time, unlike Mario World, which didn't take long. This is just a longer game, and I feel like I need breaks in between. Um, as this game can be grating with the whole craft system, or the whole, like, find the craft system, and, you know, some levels are longer than others, and, you know, there's so much, like, game to this game <laughs> there's so much stuff in this game to do it and i feel really behind i think it's because like the game makes you behind like it's not good uh you only unlock the craft system or yeah hitting the crafts yeah wait, wait we have to find black sheep now um you unlock the craft system like so late in the second world, and then I was behind because I was doing, now I'm doing uh, world, one world at a time, and that screwed things up because, I don't know, like, world one was so only one level short, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I gotta make this longer, and how am I gonna do that? There was just a lot of thought that went into it, and it really was a little, it's a little bit grating, I'll admit. <laughs> this game is not, it's not good with the structure. In my opinion, in my opinion, a game has to be have a good structure. This game somewhat does, but when worlds are like two to one, le like when World One was one level long, that would have been one episode because we did had nothing else to do. I wish they would have made you do <clears throat> do the flip side stuff at the beginning of the game, and I think that would have filled another a whole episode time instead of one world per episode and that kind of bugged me and i'm trying to, and i feel like i have to play catch up with the game that's why last episode was so long because i ha it took me a long time to find the crafts i needed in yarkbus dock and also it was just i had a lot to do so yeah there's that 
I just, I want to make everything good. I want to feel ahead, and that's what makes this super special, because the boss levels are only so short, and it gives me a lot more time to play catch up. And I'm happy about that. Because, <laughs> like I said, this game makes me feel a little behind, and it kind of bothers me personally. I like to feel ahead of the game, and I like to feel like I'm in control of how, like, the length of how much I'm doing stuff. Except the craft stuff is a little too much, in my opinion. I'm not going to bother with that. Oopsies. The craft stuff is sometimes too much, I feel. Like, one night, I was checking the menu for, like, you can check the level selection uh, in, the me in the menu and see what you've completed and what you haven't. And good god, there's so much in pa Big Paper Peak, it fills the entire chart. And that boggles my mind that Big Paper Peak is going to take so long, and I have to shove it in one episode. This episode, because that's what we're going to also we're going to be doing. We're going to be finishing this the area, and then um, moving on to Big Paper Peak. That's the episode plan. So, that's a lot. Like, that's like uh, eight craft materials we have to find. And in my opinion, that's a little much. And, I don't know, it's just a big pet peeve of mine with this game. That's why people didn't like it so much. Because of the structuring. It wasn't good. But yeah, I don't want to complain anymore. <laughs> I just needed to get that out there. And explain why episodes have been taking so long. And just why things are being so slow. It's not, it's the, I'm not blaming the game per se. But it's just like, because it's mainly my fault for not uploading much. But it's also the game because of the structure that it took. I think Nintendo could have done better with this game. Oh, I missed a sheep. I think Nintendo could have done a lot better with this game. They had... This game has potential to be one of the best Yoshi games. If it weren't for, uh... Wooly World being so damn good. And, uh... Like, in this game had... Like, I know they were trying to do something new with the series. And change... Like, f change it up. But it, it the changes were for the worst, in my opinion. That's just how we feel. Is that the last sheep? No, it's not. Are you kidding me? That's another problem. Now we have to spend a certain amount of time here looking for this last black sheep. That's honestly annoying. Where could it have been? Because I... I don't know. It's a preference of mine. I don't like when games... There's a ga There are games that deserve to be long. Open world games, for instance. Those are big, big games that people adore. And everyone can play forever and hours and hours on end. But this game, I feel like this game should not have been that big. It's a great game. Great 2D platformer. I just felt like Nintendo milked it dry. <laughs> so yeah, those are my thoughts on Crafted World as a whole. I wanted to save it for much, much later in the series, but I couldn't. I really couldn't, like, keep it all in. I wanted to talk about it and the problem it has on, like, if someone's again, if, like, let's say you want to let's play this as well, you want to do what I'm doing, or other people let's play it, I guess you could say, that, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> and it's just how I feel about the game. It's structured bad. It's great. It's just structured bad. And Nintendo should have done bet more with it. Where is this last sheep? <laughs> Where is this last sheep? Uh, but yeah. Just just a little thought of mine, really. I don't mean to rant. Um, Where is this last sheep? Is it back here? No, it's not. Uh, oh, sheepy. Oh, is it back here? No, it's not. Where? There's only certain places think it'd be. Where? Um... I think it's at the beginning. Oh, I know. Or he- oh! 
Oh yeah, okay. That's where it was. Got it. I didn't know they were so close together. Cool. That is everything. Go Go Land is 100%ed, and now time for the big stuff. Or no, it's not. Go Go Land is not 100%ed. Let's go do... Now we gotta go look for a pumpkin. On the flip side. Let's go. Where is this pumpkin gonna be? That's gonna be hard to find. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be a little challenging to find, because it's like, it's not a full-on pumpkin. It's just like paper pumpkin, I guess you could say. Uh, I want you, doggy. Come here, poochie pup. And I also hate, I'm sorry for all the, like I said, I'm sorry for ranting. But I just need to get this out of the way. I don't like how they kick you out of the level and you have to do it one at a time. The mechanic is fun, but when they kick you out of the level constantly, it gets a bit much. <laughs> like, it gets a bit monotonous because you're jumping in and out of the level repeatedly and it's ridiculous. Like, yes, you have to switch between... Where is this pumpkin? I feel like it'd be in the fall theme, because it, that's, you know. But, um... Where is this pumpkin? Oh, pumpkin, where are you? Pumpkin. I feel like it'd be back there, wouldn't it? Oh, no! There it is. I see it. Okay. But they should have let me... Like, the game should have given you all the ones on the on the front side, and then all the ones on the back side, and said, oh, go for it, you know? And then kick you out of the level when you get all of them, you know, required. They could have done better with that, I'll be honest. Next up... Oh, whoa. I think that's, that's a rose. And we gotta go find a rose. Let's go. So yeah. Ah, uh, excuse me. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. On to a more positive note. Um, without saying any spoilers, I will not talk too much about this. Um, all I'll say about it is I have finished, finally, the Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What an ending. I'm not going to say a word. I'm not going to say a word about it. Because I know how, I know how spoilers for that game works, or if these games work, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody who wants to play, because or who somebody who is playing through it because of, um, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles Three being out in two weeks. How crazy is that, anyways? But I finished it, and I it took me a long time to actually enjoy that game because of I don't know, gameplay felt weird. It felt nothing like one, which yes, that's fine. It's good to change up your games a little bit, but not to the point where it's a little complicated. At first I was like, what are they? Like the tutorials are awful in that game for warning you guys. I'll say it now. Like that has not, like I'm pretty, like what hasn't been said about the tutorials at this point for Cineblade 2? <laughs> Is that the thing we need? I thought I saw it. Is that it? Wait a minute. Or is that there's the pup? Sorry, I thought I, I thought I saw it. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Forewarning you, tutorials suck. Watch a playthrough or look it up on the wiki. There was a lot of issues I had with the game, but I enjoyed it through and through. Now, was it a bad game? No. Was it a good game? Sorta. It wasn't. It wasn't as good as Xenoblade 1, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, I feel like they could have done so much better with that game, too. Uh, but, hey. That's just a matter of opinion, I guess. And please do leave your own opinion in the comments. If you have played Xenoblade 1 or 2, I want to know, like, what was your experience like first time through? 
Uh, were you frustrated? Were you happy? Did the tutorials make sense to you? I want to know. Oh, oh my gosh, that was cool. Now we gotta look for a flower. It's specifically like a flower, or it's a rose. Um, I thought it was back there. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, is it back here? This... Oh, is that it? Oh, there it is. I see it. That was cool. I will say also, the this, this hiding spots for these things are creative, but they're difficult sometimes. <laughs> Alright. And I, I will do a little bit of Big Paper Peek. Just because I will not finish it. But this is 100%ed. Woohoo! I will not do all of Pig Paper Peak. I will only do half of it. And I'll save the other half for another time. I may have to end up making craft based episodes. Or I could save this for another time. I could make a whole separate episode about the crafts in this level. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. But for now. That's all. Um, next time on uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, we'll be heading off into a new, a new island, by the looks of it. And also finishing up, or actually no, we're not going to be heading off to a new island. We're going to be going to finish up the, crafts, the uh, craft searching in Big Paper Peak. Let me show you, for example. Look at this. There's a lot there. So yeah, I'm going to be dedicating a whole episode to this. Next episode, we'll be doing that. So, next time on Yoshi's Crafted World. I know I said it twice. We'll be doing some craft hunting. I'll see you guys then. Peace.